and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, today I'm going to be doing a curriculum clean out and I'm going to finally finish up my record keeping for my daughter's fourth grade year. So I have my tote right here of like all of like my old curriculum. Some curriculums I may be saving for my younger two, um, but I'm just so ready you guys to finally put fourth grade away finally finish off this homeschooling room so I can close it, enjoy the rest of my summer before we have to like kick back start like our new homeschooling year, which is really, really soon. We have about two more weeks before we are going to kick start our homeschooling year. So I'm so, so, so excited. So while my husband has the kids outside on the splash pad, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this time to go ahead and clean out like all of my old curriculum, finish record keeping. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy today's video okay you guys here is the tote of all of the stuff I have to go through I have some of my preschoolers like all of their art from uh, playing preschool that we did and I have to figure out like how I'm gonna store this art right here because I definitely want to keep it this right here is Brielle's big project that she did this school year on African mammals and I need to figure out how I'm going to save and disassemble this uh, trifold and put it like in her records because I don't want to get rid of it. I already took a picture of her with this poster board for her records, but I'm going to figure out like maybe I'll just save the little trifolds of like all of her work um, and put it like in sheet protectors for her records. But that's what I'm going to do as well. Another one I have to figure out is how I am going to uh record and save this uh human body poster that she did because she did such a good job on this one i'm thinking about taking a picture and possibly saving some of the organs and then like throwing it away i feel really really bad but we do have the memories and yeah i think that's what i'm going to do for that but for right now i'm about to set you guys up and we're going to go through this tote and i'm going to get this done everything that was inside of this tote um some of this stuff is like work Brielle did that I didn't know if how I wanted to save it or if I wanted to save it and then I have like all of my my preschool stuff that's over here work that they either completed um extra workbooks and things like that so I think I'm gonna start over here with brewery stuff so we finished fix it grammar and we actually have the next set, but this is just my teacher's manual. And I'm thinking about, um, I'm either thinking about like giving this one away just because um, I don't think I will reuse this particular one. And by the time it comes time for me to like use this one again with my older two, um, I don't know if we will end up using the newer versions that they have. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I'm gonna put this right here. I have our language lessons for living education. You guys, we barely touched this one um, because I found Rod and Staff. So I think what page did this go up to that we stopped at? I think it's about this page. So what's that? Only page 81. So I think I might give this one away as well. So I'm gonna put that up to my giveaway pal. I also have, <laughs> uh, this is Christian Light Education, um, their language. I was really searching for a language arts curriculum last year when um, the good and the beautiful didn't work out for Brie. I was just like on a manhunt, you guys. So I picked up these light units, but we never got to using these as well. These are just the first 401 and 402 light units. So I'm going to put this in my pouch to give away as well. So I have those to give away. I found this first language lessons and I was just looking at it just because I think I picked this one up for like two bucks and I was just like, oh, let me just see what this is about. Uh, just to see if this might be something I might be interested in using for my younger two. But I don't think this is the style I wanna go for when teaching them like grammar and things like that. So I think I'm gonna put this one 
for my giveaway pal I don't feel like I'm at a loss because again I found this at a thrift store for a couple of bucks so uh, no loss well, wait not thrift store thrift books I found this for a couple of bucks I also have Saxon Math K um, I think I'm gonna keep this one I am NOT going to use this Saxon Math K with my um, four-year-old with Leia next year when she does kindergarten I actually already picked out her math curriculum and you guys I'm not gonna leave you on a cliffhanger I'm just gonna show you what she's gonna be using so right here is all of um, Leia's curriculum that I have picked out for her kindergarten year if we get to this stuff sooner we will but I went ahead and I picked out um, Kate Snow kindergarten math with confidence because we're actually doing Kate Snow's um, preschooler math at home so I just wanted to continue with the series and I found this one on sale on Amazon they was having it on sale for like 30 bucks I think right now it's priced at 55 again so I just went ahead and picked it up and I have it here ready to go so I have like all of her kindergarten stuff ready to go for uh Leia so that is the math we're going to use but I think I am still going to go ahead and hold on to this Saxon because you never know um and I don't want to get rid of this one too soon so this is my keep pal so I do have a Becca arithmetic in here as well um these right here are just like the teacher keys that I have right here and I think I'm going to give these ones away as well um, and I have the lesson plan so I'm gonna put this one on this side for like giveaway I have the um, what is it I do have the speed drills like the actual student workbook that um, Brielle worked out of and I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to rip out the pages I want to save and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to this um, giveaway pile because I mean somebody could use the rest of these worksheets in here and I think I'm gonna do the same for the textbook as well I'm just going to rip out the pages we already did I already ripped out some of her sample work for her like binder that I keep at the end of the year and I will show you guys that in a little bit but um, I'm gonna just rip out the rest of her work and I'll probably just um, throw it away just because I do have the samples that I do need for her records and then I'll just put this over here as well um, because somebody can use this you guys like um, I know someone can now these are workbooks that Brielle like actually completed uh, this was her fourth grade uh, spelling skills she completed these uh, reading tests we did these as well this writing notebook we didn't really get far into it um, I can let's see oh I already ripped out the pages so I can probably just put this in the giveaway because these are all blank pages somebody can use that and then this grammar one um, we worked out of this and I don't think that I can give this one away because we worked a lot of these so I think I already took out the samples that I want for her binder so I might go ahead and just discard these because I can't keep everything as much as I want to keep like all of her workbooks I know <laughs> it's gonna be a lot for me to keep over the years so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones right here in the trash because I did take out what I need from those now this is Brielle's uh, rod and staff that we actually use throughout the school year this is her spelling and where's her other one her spelling and this is her rod and staff right here that we completed throughout the school year and I think I'm gonna keep these because this is like her work and they're just a small composition so I'm gonna keep these because I do want to keep some of her work so I think I'm gonna keep these so this is gonna be keep where am I gonna put my keep stuff at okay I think I'm gonna put it right there and here goes some of the good and the beautiful math that we did this year as well I pulled out the samples that I want from this one so I don't think I'm gonna keep these I don't know you guys like I can't keep everything so um I think I'm gonna throw this away because I did keep the samples that I liked um but I don't know I don't know so I think I'm just gonna put this right here and maybe the pages that I rip out from the math I can just keep as well just for a little bit because I'm not too sure now as far as this I explore the coat she didn't get too far in it so I'm going to put that in a giveaway pal I have my planner of everything that we did throughout the school year I think I'm gonna keep this so let me put that right there and what are these odds and ends oh these are the last lessons of the good and beautiful mammals we didn't finish and here goes the rest of her worksheets that I used for rotten stuff I picked out the ones that I liked um I don't know you guys I don't know why I should keep them why I should throw away uh, you guys in the comment section below let me know like how much of your kids work that you actually keep or do you just pull out samples and throw the rest away so I think I'm making I'm doing pretty good with this I think I have a good idea of what I'm gonna keep 
which is pretty good. I'm only keeping that Saxon K and the rest of this I'm giving away. This right here, you guys, is just also like some of Brielle's work in here as well. This is some of her work from third grade that I didn't want to throw away. Like this one she did in the third grade. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, this is all of her Abeka Arithmetic 3 and some of the concepts she did last year. So, you guys, <laughs> I just don't know like how much to keep. So, I guess I didn't throw away the whole Abeka book. I just kept some of her lessons as well from last year that we did in here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, you guys. Like, I don't know if I'm just gonna keep all of her work. I think I might, cause it all fits in here. Cause I'm kind of scared to throw it all away. So yeah. Now as far as Leia stuff goes, you guys, um, I think these workbooks right here, I might go ahead and save. Leia, she didn't really like these. I tried these. Uh, these are What Your Preschooler Needs to Know from Core Knowledge. These books are so cute, you guys. I did a couple of lessons with her in this, but she really didn't like it that much. Um, I don't know if I should save it for Alana, um, but I don't wanna get rid of these just yet. So I think I am gonna put this in the key. So, so far so good. All right. I'm gonna get rid of these because I laminated these sheets and I just went ahead and bought another like uh, printing book for them to do. So this is definitely gonna be like my trash bin. I have my Purely Preschool we did. We had so much fun you guys doing these units. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep these because I have the digital files so I can just always reprint these if I wanna do it again with my younger ones. So um, this is just an easy print. Um, and also too, you really can use her files digitally and then um, you're, you mainly use the um, these little visual cards with the kiddos. So uh, maybe I might just keep the visual cards. I'm not too sure, but I know I could, this is an easy reprint for me. Um, these are just like some dollar cheapy, um, Target books that I got last year. I got sucked into that daggone $3 section and all these books right here, you guys, I didn't even use. So I'm gonna put these in the giveaway section because I don't think I'm gonna use these. And uh, my, my four year old, she's not really a worksheet type of a girl. And if Alana likes worksheets, I can just always repurchase them because they're, you know, they're a buck. So yeah, so this is like my giveaway section. Now I have some of Leia's work she did this school year, all of like her coloring sheets and stuff like that. Um, here goes like her number pads that we did. She really enjoyed this one as well. Um, I think I'm going to uh, trash these. We had fun with them um, and yeah, uh, so sad. But I am going to go ahead and keep like her coloring sheets that she did because it's so cool like seeing her progression as uh, she's went through like coloring um, and learning how to like color in the lines. And I think this is like a really cool thing for me to keep for her record. So um, Leia, she did really, really good uh, learning this skill. Cause like these are like some of her beginner ones. And then, you know, to this is like a more recent one. So she's really mastering that skill. And then here goes some of Alana sheets right here that uh, my two year old did. <laughs> she's still scribbly, but I think I wanna keep these along with all of their work that they did from playing preschool. But these sheets, I think I might go ahead and throw these ones away for her. So um, let me grab a trash bag and yeah, you guys, I am making good progress today.
smells so good. This is all of the stuff that I'm going to be keeping, which is really just like preschool stuff. And um, I have some of my daughter's artwork. I didn't, I couldn't get rid of these little art pads, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and keep them as well. It's not too much. So this is everything I'm keeping inside of this tote. And then here is my stack right here that I'm giving away. So the last thing that I have to do is I'm going to sit here and these are some of the worksheets that I just could not um, put myself to like officially throw away because this is all of Brielle's work that she actually did that I didn't like put in her uh, folder or like in her record binder. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I have these little file folders. I'm just gonna label um, fourth grade and third grade. These are just like extra math and language arts sheets and I'm still gonna keep them. I decided also to you guys to go ahead and keep all of the workbooks that she actually did. So here is the other workbooks too that she actually did. Um, I'm just scared to throw stuff away you guys. So I'm just gonna keep it at least for a year or two of these workbooks that she's like uh, partially or completed all the way. And I'm just gonna keep them as well. So I have everything in its entirety of all the work she did. Also, I saved the samples that I like. So I think I'm just gonna do that because it's it's really not too much. These are like the last two things that I do need to file in her binder and I'm gonna show you guys how her binder looks in just a second. But for right now, let me label these and get these inside of the tote as well for my records and extra curriculum. I forgot to show you these are actually like Brielle's piano and her music units that she went through through Hoffman Academy she went through unit six on this and these are just like her piano music sheets and things like that um I don't think I'm gonna keep these I think I'm probably gonna throw these away but I did save her certificate for when she completed each unit so um yeah I think I can toss these babies right here as well Okay, you guys, so this is actually the binder that I keep all of like the records I wanna keep for Brielle for her school year. I just try to at least pick a few samples. Um, for the state of Georgia, I don't have to keep any records, but just because I wanna have something to show her growth, I just decided to take a few samples, maybe like two samples for each subject each month and I file it away. So that ends up being like 10 sheets per uh, subject. And everything fits really nicely in this two, I think this is like a two inch or two and a half inch binder. And each year she's gonna have one of these. I do have her third grade one as well. Um, these are the last two things I need to file away, which is her spelling from fifth grade and these um, extra supplemental uh, reading comprehension test. Okay, you guys, this is inside of her binder. I have like the uh, signs that she held out for her last day of school, first day of school. This is my Georgia intent to homeschool. So I have to cover that up because it has like all of our personal information on it. But um, here, let's see. We can start off at this page right here. So this page right here, it has like all this, the curriculum we use. Um, I broke it like week by week, everything that we did and I typed it up. So um, that is what all of this is right here. Um, I also have, again, some of the curriculums that we use in samples, even if we didn't complete them all the way. So this is a Becca. I have some of the samples that she did for a Becca. And I also have some of the sample tests right here as well. This is the Simply Good and Beautiful we did as well in our first semester. And then I have some samples and then I have the assessments that we did at the end. Now this is what we did second semester Saxon and then not only for Saxon, the only thing that I'm keeping so far is like her test that she did for Saxon. So um, that is in here as well. Uh, this is extra math, her scores from that when she uh, logged on the app. This is language lessons for living education as you guys seen earlier and this is some of the samples that I wanted to keep. And this right here is a uh, rod and staff. Uh, the worksheets and I pulled out the samples that I wanted to keep for her worksheets and um, I just went ahead and just three ring hole punched the test that we used for last year. Here goes one of her book reports I wanted to keep. Here goes Fix It Grammar. Her student notebook I am keeping um, but what I did was I just copied off um, a couple of her uh, pages that she did 
from that student notebook just to like show progress. And then here goes when she typed up the whole fix it, uh, fix it uh, nose tree story. Here goes some of the lessons we did from the writing workshop from the Good and the Beautiful I saved as well. And she typed up some of her paragraphs as well for these. Um, that's what these little things right here are. And spelling. So this right here is all I have to add is just this spelling and the reading test. And what else is in here? I also have her stuff from uh, Black History Month when we, or this is when we did Martin Luther King Day unit. I put these in here, some of her watercolors, her pair of paragraphs, her Black History Month uh, pictures and her bibliographies that she did. I have all of those in here. Um, then I have science in here as well. Um, this is all the science that we did. She mainly did like interactive notebooks and things like that. So I have those aside saved as well. But here goes some of like her sheets that I saved and her quizzes that she did. And what else is in here? Some of the stuff we did from mammals I have in here. And this right here I saved because this is for me to take off her uh, things from her project. And I'm going to put it in here. And this is Amazing Africa we did and some lessons from living art lessons. guys as I officially put my fourth grade homeschooling year to a close it looks like on the outside that we just had a banging bomb homeschooling year I feel like we did great um, but I'm going to definitely challenge myself in this upcoming year to really do homeschooling a lot different than how I did it these past couple of years. I was public schooled and I feel like I've had like the public school mindset going into homeschooling. And this year, I want my portfolio for my daughter to look a lot less bookworky, and I want to see a lot more hands-on projects, um, a lot more art, a lot more, uh, just a lot more of that creative side that I'm seeing coming out of my daughter. I want to challenge myself in the methods and the ways that I'm going to teach my kiddos. Um, traditional homeschooling, it's nothing wrong with it. It works. Um, but I just want to challenge myself to do and really take full advantage of this homeschooling opportunity that I have with my kiddos. And um, if you guys seen my last video, seeing all of the changes that I made within my uh, homeschool curriculum, um, I'm challenging myself. My motto for this homeschooling year is to not seek a higher education through academic excellence and rigor but to work towards diligence and interest-led learning of writing, art, poetry, music, and nature. And you guys, I specifically wrote this goal down because I want to follow it. I'm going to type this up. I'm going to put it in a place in my homeschool room where I can see it. So when I feel myself wanting to grab more worksheets or grab more book work, I can remind myself of this model. Okay, you guys, I just want to give you a quick recap on everything I'm actually keeping. So this is Brielle's completed fourth grade binder that I have everything in it, all of her subjects. Now, these are all of her notebooks that I showed you guys earlier, all of her uh, workbooks she did. And I ripped out all of the pages she did in every last one of her curriculum that I didn't file in here. Also, I do have the rest of her interactive notebooks. This is the one that she did for science. Um, this right here is her Africa notebook that she has. This is her mammals notebook that she did from um, the mammals unit we studied. This is her daily writing creative journal that I saved right here. And I also have her um, big thing of fix it grammar and all of like her creative writing that she did for the school year. I have it in this um, little file fold right here and it just is labeled Brielle's uh, records. So um, yeah, so I pretty much am keeping everything, but if something was ever to happen and someone needed any type of like records, I will give them uh, this binder. But I do want to save her work and I think that this is manageable. I didn't like go overboard. I think that uh, this is a pretty good pal for me to save for her uh, fourth year. So this is the tote. You guys already seen this. This is Brielle's um, human body poster. I just couldn't throw it away. I saved it you guys and I'm going to be real and 
and show you guys this is the rest of my homeschooling closet and yeah i have a little bit more work to do but uh we finished our mission what we are here to accomplish so we will just shut the door on this one so yeah okay you guys i am all finished i have officially gotten rid of or i've put away all the curriculum that i am going to get rid of give away um and then also too i have organized all of the rest of brielle's records as you guys can see um i didn't have it in my heart to like get rid of everything i really want to like hold on to the, some of the stuff just a little bit longer um but yeah you guys also too i really want to make like a homeschool room tour so you guys can kind of like get a feel of how this room looks i know in my videos you see like bits and pieces of it but i do want to like make a dedicated video for you guys showing you like our new homeschool space because we have been utilizing this room a lot more than we have in the past so um i do want to make that video for you guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it's a lot different from my normal ones let me know if you want to see more videos like this um where i show you kind of like behind the scenes of like my homeschool and things like that but um you guys as always thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye